Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. I recently created a video on how to convert your own PC into a virtual machine. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a computer in your network or LAN into a virtual machine. This is a Windows XP computer in my network, and I'm connected to this computer via remote desktop. This is a computer I'll be converting into a virtual machine. It's a very good idea that you can access the PC remotely because if you can't access the PC, the program might not be able to. I'll be using VMware Workstation, the same program I used in my previous video. The link is in the description box below. Once you have downloaded and installed, double click to run. This program is not free by the way. Here click on File. From the drop down, click on virtualize a physical machine. It will probably ask you to install a second program called VMware vCenter converter that works in conjunction with VMware workstation. Then click on next. Here type the IP address of the network computer. In my case it's 192.168.1.109 like you saw at the beginning of this video. Then enter the username and password of an administrator or a user with administrative rights from the network computer. In other words, all this information here belongs to the network computer that we wish to convert into a virtual machine. Then click on next. If you get this error here, the operation cannot be completed for incorrect user credentials or unable to connect to the network share, there are some steps that you can take to resolve this issue. Some of them are in my site and there I also have a link to the forum that can help you resolve this issue. I personally went through this problem and I was able to fix it. I'll show you later. Here you can set a name for the virtual machine. It automatically detected Windows XP Pro so I'm gonna leave it as is. Also you can set the path for the new virtual machine. You can leave it default or you can browse for a location anywhere in your computer. I have already created a folder so I'm gonna go ahead and browse for that folder. Here it is drive F VMware folder but you can leave it default if you want once you have set the path for the virtual machine go ahead and click on next now here type your username and password not the network computer username and password your current username and password once you're done click on finish to start creating your new virtual machine out of a network computer once it finishes, it's going to show up on the left pane here. All you need to do is select it and then click on the play symbol. And here it is, your new virtual machine. Type the password for the user and that's it, you're done. What I had to do is I had to download this XP Auto Admin Share app that enabled me to do this on Windows XP. For Windows 7 it's a little different but remember all the information are in my website. If you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Click on the play.